below. Steve here. Welcome to Real Health. Who would have thought health is about what we're eating? Join me on my quest to disseminate my go-to health regimen, the Health 44, my clumsy branding of eliminating four classes of food, introducing four classes of micronutrients, bingo, bongo, health sorted. So thank you for your interest. Let's do this. Welcome again. You have clicked on the introduction, the first iteration, my first attempt. It's always an attempt um, where I'm concerned because I'm not a very good, I don't prepare. That's right, I don't. Even in, when I do, the delivery will be shite, but here it is in any event. The introduction of orange theory, which has been floating around in my mind for a couple of years, centered on a couple of different ideas on, and concepts, um, and fitting them all together. I've littered many of the ideas in all my podcast series and now videos. And I'm trying to now unify the ideas into one. And it doesn't really belong as a theory because theory is only next to an axiom or something. It's um, not even a hypothesis. It's, it's, it's an idea or a notion. But to me, it's a theory. And hopefully this will grow for everybody. The forage theory in health. That's the full title, okay, of what I'm trying to get to. So, the influences, <coughs> excuse me, the influences are many with different weightings. The most um, weighting has Joel Wallach. I haven't agreed with all of his approaches but 80 percent i could safely say then comes his team or supporters also quite knowledgeable people of dr glidden and dr ben fuchs then you get the other 20 30 percent tops of the slew the primordial health ideas soup, which makes up uh, the blogosphere, the YouTubersphere, the uh, the mainstream health research, the commentary, the bro science, a high, a high, a higher weighting out of the remaining, say, thirty uh, percent. Uh, there's a big waiting in the bro science because I'm reacting, I'm observing the dozens of people in my circle and the uh, a little uh, less fewer of those involved as a health seeker, involved in health, and um, here it is. Okay, so it's a bit of a mishmash of. The idea of pica, not the way uh, Google would like to explain to you on a question or chat GPT, GPT these days. It's not just a non-nutritive consumption of food, cardboard, paper, bricks, mud, clay, some people with um, nails, hair, light bulbs even, okay? It's not that. Pica expands and it engulfs. It engulfs the smokers, the drinkers, and the drug takers. Yes, throw out the trauma theory of uh, why we have addictions to substance and what will really get up people's goat, whatever, is obesity and overeating and cravings and just being fixated on what we're eating for our health. 
that is also going to fit in forage theory, but it's part of pica. The reason why I mention uh, forage as a uh, the word for, uh, forage in this theory is that um, we live in a perpetual state of anxiety, and it fits into something that really st stood out. Um, other people have mentioned it, but in in the popular health seeker space, uh, the Hubermans of the world, the Atiers, the uh, Brian Johnson, Sinclair's with the longevity stuff, um, Doc Gardner and uh, Doc, um, what's the, uh, uh, essential fatty acids, um, Dr. Ron Patrick, then you get the social influences out there which sprout their um, their health modalities, their theories, their, what they clutch at, what they stab in, in the dark with. Many will say you're stabbing in the dark too, but no, some intense thought, some intense observation and efforts to even break my own convictions has come into this. So, um, this perpetual state of seeking with animals, yes, it comes from animals. Even pica is animal-based. Even the whole idea of my whole um, Health 44 is based on our understanding of soil science and uh, veterinary science and understanding verte vertebrates. We are vertebrates, for goodness sake. So this perpetual state of anxiety, which for animals is, they don't understand hunger, drinking. They just, right, okay, I've got that drink. Now let's kill something or let's forage some more or let's keep on eating that grass. Where we start to anthropomorphize, um, that's where we get in, into the weeds and the whole whole bodies of science get developed through mental health, uh, the physical health, and it's all fitting into forage theory. I think it's a theory. You can think it's a, a BS idea, but um, this can't be succinctly answered in uh, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. This is going to be a ongoing discussion, this guy riffing and the like. I've mentioned already quite a few things which will um, you know, tickle people, which will grind people and the obvious uh, ignoring, uh, waving on the hand and the like. But all I have, all I have is uh, let's compare notes in 10 years, 30 years, 50 years, whatever you like. With all the PhDs and the health gurus out there and uh, the people doing the legwork, those people in the garage, I'm one of them. Uh, in the garage because mainstream study science um, only points in certain directions and they, the mainstream ca academic scientific complex is straight down the line foragers trying to get ahead in their own life while they take their own drugs and they go for the cream bun mid-morning and they can't wait for that Thai food tonight and going for a, a bar to a barbecue and can't wait to get into that burger and oh how about the beers and the and the wine yes the drinkers smokers drug takers and the overeaters and the people that aren't overeaters that are tortured tortured with their cravings and they take out take away their cravings with cravings with Cinnamon, 
I've got this written piece in Medium on Cinnamon, and it's my, out of, what, 50, 60 uh, articles that I've written, a full 20, 25% readership is on one article, and that is Cinnamon. I don't even know what the whole idea was, but uh, basically it's centered, centered around Pika. It's been shared and all that sort of thing. And even with my uh, videos, uh, my videos and podcasts, out of all my 300 plus videos and podcasts that I've done, approaching 400 in the, in the podcast series, 20% of the viewership was one episode basically giving giving shite or reviewing <laughs> reviewing one particular health guru out there i don't even know who it was well, who was it Ek ekberg hmm doctor is he a doctor he was he was a chiropractor or something doc ekberg uh, i only found this out recently i barely recall i do recall a little bit but anyway I don't want to hijack things with all, all this other riffing. This is about forage theory. So while animals are foraging for their fluid and their sustenance, we do that too. It's, it's more advanced, more advanced. We, we, we say that, um, well, I just had to have some candy because I needed some sugar. How about some fruit then? Uh, I just needed some meat. Even some um, vegans that uh, just give up after a few weeks. Even the decadal uh, vegans, um, we have some success and we have some failures. We haven't heard too many failures of carnivore people that have been decade plus carnivores many will say because they're dead <laughs> many will say because it's only a new thing but even with carnivores there was a uh, early 20th century attempt and it, it tended to be positive but um, I don't advocate particularly vegan keto carnivore whichever diet tribe I just say which one is easiest when you have health issues, and that is keto, more like more um, achievable, and carnivores have got their advantages. But carnivores are not out of the woods; they're not solving that much. I've got whole episodes on that. But with uh, when we start to comp complexify. That's a new word too. Forage theory and com complexify. Anthropomorphizing and putting all these... Uh, many will even challenge the whole idea of us needing a 90 plus essential micronutrients. Well, that's where 90 plus essential micronutrients has some weight is because we've we like to test more on animals and half century plus of understanding animal um, nutrition and doubling and tripling the life of some of our uh, captive animals. Um, we've ignored to incorporate it into humanity, which is ghastly and asinine. So I'm advocating for uh, micronutrients to be more widely accepted. And, to, and this is part of forage theory. They declare the essential micronutrients. And what we need to do to alleviate our anxiety and our, um, our fixation on food, our relationships to, to food, how married we are to our food, performance athletes, health seekers, people wanting to lose weight, people wanting to attract a good mate. Sounding like um, 
Animal Kingdom talk. We are vertebrates. The study of turmeric, understanding proteins, essential fatty acids, without understanding the minerals is useless. Okay? Yes, I'm jumping around. I am. I'm, I'm aware. So, if you know smokers, drinkers, drug, drug takers, and overeaters, or people that are tortured to cut down their cravings, it's forage theory. To get healthy is forage theory as well. Clutching at different ideas, stabbing in the dark with others. Some will say, you're also doing it. I concur. I concur. But I also don't uh, double down on my ideas. I try and break my idea on health. And the whole brand that I've put on it, a clumsy brand, Health 44, and just quickly for the 2.2 regulars and the many one-off uh, listeners and viewers that will say, whoa, stay away from that guy. That's where I, I have to bring in the whole health, health 44. Health happens in a short time when you are cut out 90 plus percent in the supermarket, uh, cutting out four classes of micro, four classes of food. Uh, yes, elimination. Pollution, oils, sugars, nitrates, nitrites, and you bring in the second four, the 44, the four classes of micronutrients making up those 90 declared essential micronutrients. 60 of them are minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential fatty acids, and two essential, 12 essential amino acids, two essential fatty acids. No, there's not nine essential fat, uh, um, amino acids, there's 12. You could get 16, that's all good, but 12 is essential. We need more um, bricks and mortar into, into our bodies, which is the micros. Well, the mortar, the bricks are the macros. Um, I've referenced in the past, my idea on protein wasn't quite there. There's one recalcitrant um, internal dura that's holding up all the others. and um, there's many protein advocates out there. There's a few that indicate uh, protein is, is overrated. I'm not discounting um, anyone yet. I do embark only by chance where I, um, I bought a whole heap of protein and I'm using that up, but um, I'm getting ample in my heavy keto diet. So that's a personal disclosure. For, for those one-off listeners. Sorry to the regulars. Those 2.2 of them. <laughs> um, but there's my initial attempt, just even by mention, mentioning the whole idea of fo fo forage theory. That's how I knew it is. I can't even say it. Um, I'm just going to leave it there into the blogosphere, whatever. And I'll be adding to it. How much gusto there will be? There's quite a bit because there's been a couple of years of contemplation trying to break it. Okay. So I think I've made my point with um, animals forage. We actually forage in an advanced manner. We intellectualize the whole idea of um, all these different health modalities, but really we're just foraging, even in our research. It's a forage, which is required, which we found out a lot of things, but we've gone skew if as well. Okay. So, uh, and once up to, once, once again, to sum up, pica is part of forage theory. The drinkers, smokers, drug takers, overeaters, and under eaters for that matter as well. Weight management issues. It's all forage theory, uh, why we're getting uh, ill as a populace more and more, our, our longevity is still up there. It's going to come down, I've predicted many a time, it's going to come down five years for every half century is my prediction forecast. 
um, our health span is going to drop as well. Our health span has dropped from our, say, 80 year uh, lifespan average worldwide. Our health span metric is around 65. I've seen 63, I've, I've seen 60, 67, let's call it 65. 15 years of living chronically unwell, also not a good sign. And uh, that's going south. And forage theory, I aim to uh, reverse that and the health in, in front of our face, together with the downstream health effects and our long life, okay? Coming down to micronutrients with minerals as importance to carry weight because you need minerals to get the other three um, categories of micronutrients to work together to create the whole, all the different uh, pathways, mechanisms, uh, enzymes, and, uh, all the action in our cells, okay? So I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there. It's been messy. It's been clumsy. I know. But uh, watch this space because um, I aim for it to explode, not just in popularity, but to explode our downstream good health benefit. Right. There, there, there it was. Thanks again. Bye-bye.